This is the new SV Bonnie dual band narrow band filter. This has recently been released and it's 3nm version which makes it super narrow and super crisp. In this short video I'll give you my thoughts about it and yes I'll show you a photo that I took with it and then without it just to give you a sense of comparison and what to expect. All right let's first talk about what this thing is. Well this filter is designed for astrophotography. You can use it on one shot color cameras, it targets H alpha and oxygen emission lines with an ultra narrow band of 3nm bandwidth which makes it ideal for capturing nebula and other deep sky objects even under heavily polluted night skies. It's ultra narrow which means you will get good contrast and reduced background noise. It also has a reasonably high transmittance of uh, more than 85% which is awesome. In terms of halo suppression, well it does have some halos but it's minimal and manageable in my opinion. It uses multi-layer coatings to reduce star halos and internal reflections, uh, but uh, you will see some halos as its competitors like Optolon L Ultimate, uh, you will see slight halos and that's okay for me, but might not be for you. So uh, look into it before you buy this. So very much like L Ultimate, it's got uh, slight hellos. In terms of compatibility, this works even on full frame cameras, which is awesome. And now here are some images that I took with this. Uh, I'll show you without any filter and with this filter. Without and with. As you can see, it boosts contrast and makes the faint structures more visible. It simply pops the nebula and reduces that washed out white glow look. In terms of price, this is cheaper compared to Optolong's L Ultimate. In Australia, you can get it, uh, get L Ultimate for about 500 Australian dollars. And this new filter is being sold for about 440 AUD pre-sale price. So slightly cheaper, about, you know, $60. Now, a personal thought here, I've always seen SV Bonnie as a company committed to making astrophotography more accessible and affordable. While this filter is indeed cheaper, I do believe that for a brand focused on budget-friendly gear, it could be priced a bit more aggressively. $60 difference is something, but not too much in my books. That said, even at this price point, it offers an incredible performance to cost ratio and I have loved using this little filter and I commend it to you if you are in the market for a good filter. Let me know what your thoughts are about this filter. Are you excited about it or you're like, oh, maybe I'll just let this one go. Uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment below.